and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. Welcome if you're new here today and welcome back to subscribers. And in today's video, what we're going to do is straight into doing some fabric slashing. Fabric slashing, there is a playlist. Fabric slashing is just such a fantastic textile technique and you can get rid of all your scrap fabrics and it's a good fun. All right then, let's get into it. I've got these two bits of fabrics that I've cut up from a charity shop top that I've got and I've literally just cut the front and the back and lined them up. So the top side, I want that kind of smooth, shiny side. Love the colour. I'm going to go quite big. Don't know if you remember, I did a video a while back on shopping at Leon's Fabric in Charlton, Manchester, and I bought all these little scrap bits of fabrics which are quite cool. So I thought that we would do a fabric slash piece. So I'll need to just take this top layer off here. Could just stay there for now. And this is the background that I'm going to be working on top of. And then, oh, I've also got this bag of scraps from tons of prop projects as well. So I'm just going to literally sift through and layer up some bits of fabrics on top of here until it doesn't get too thick and then I'll pop this layer back on top. So, let's see. Look at that. Luminous. Right, we'll definitely use that. Let's use it up here. Use that one. Yeah, yeah. These are brilliant. They're just like loads of little swatches of fabrics. Know what colours um, I'm going to stick with, but leave those ones for now. I'm just going to switch my chair. Just a bit squeaky, I think. I've done quite a few of these fabric slashing videos in a playlist. So after you've watched this one, and if you haven't seen the others, check out that playlist. You might enjoy working your way through that. I've done loads of different patterns and different types of fabrics. That one's quite thick, so. And then obviously the denim is going to be quite thick. You can see that I'm just placing these down sporadically, really. Uh, so I'll lay that up I like these little felt pieces. So I'm going to pop those on. sure about those colours in this one. Maybe that one. Some little tie-dye bits of fabrics here. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice one dyed fabrics. Pop that there. 
So don't want areas going too thick too soon. So I know that area there is pretty thick, that fabric. These ones, not so much. Just trying to get a real mixture of colours in there. That's going to be quite thick piece. So I'll try and put that in an area where it's quite thin. I think that's probably enough. So I'm just checking the thickness. That seems absolutely fine. And then we just pop on the top layer. And I'm going to use a couple of pins, but you can also use some little clips around the outside. I'm just going to put one through the middle. So I don't know if you can see this, but I've literally just drawn out a design. I've tried to use numerous sort of wavy lines, spirals, circles, horizontals, verticals. Yep. So I'm going to see how we get on with this. This is where we're up to. I've got most of the sewing done, just got a little bit left over here to do. And just a little bit more over here. And then we are done. So this is all ready to cut into now for the fabric slashing and obviously I've done straight stitch there all over I've used a white thread and we will see how we get on with cutting it. So what we do is you just do a little snip to begin with and then you can switch scissors and do each layer at a time, right, so. So 
I've just started cutting out some of the shapes there. Just got about half of it done and I'll carry on. I've cut it all out now and what I need to do is just decide on what colours I want to show through. So I've only cut through the top layer in most cases and so now I just need to consider what colours I want to pop through. I've started there going through different layers but overall I need to just have a look and see which colours are going to work best coming through. Literally just done a snippety snip all over. Oh gosh. Hopefully that's not going to move again. So yeah, I've snipped through most of the layers and not the right one. So what I'm going to do now is pop this into the washing machine because I want it to fray like crazy. Yeah, I just love the, the frayed effect. It's just my thing. Okay, so a little bit more cutting in that bit there from that spiral. The beauty about this is, this technique, is after it's been in the wash and it's kind of puckered and shrunk and frayed and all of these things, you can actually hack back into it. So it's no big deal. So let's see what happens. I'll show you in a bit after it's been washed. It's Layla time. Tickle. Do you want to tickle? Oh, look at that. Look at that, Tommy. Look at that, Tommy. Are you playing? No. You off? Uh, here she is. I've already given you a little treat. Look at that tail. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you don't want a stroke. Off she goes. Off she goes. Scratchy, scratchy. Right then, so this is it. It's been washed. It's nearly dry. And look at that. I love this little curling detail that's happening here. Perhaps I could try to explore that further. Some of the edges are quite nice. We've got little bits of cool showing through there, a pop of pink, and then slash through to many layers. And then that's quite nice because it's quite thick and high on that side, but not so much over here. And then this has all gone really lovely. And then the patterns are showing up. And then we've got obviously this fluorescent pink and got the spiral going on in the middle. I tried to get loads of different patterns. 
Try to get loads of different patterns involved on this piece because it's quite a big space really, isn't it? my video today I love doing this brick slashing it's something I haven't done for a little while and it was just really good fun it took me I guess quite a few hours for the process so, so you've got to do the design you've got to get the scraps of fabrics you've got to pull it all together sewing it on the machine and then obviously slashing through but yeah you could see this you know worn or, yeah really like it so if you are new today or you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed this video and you'd love to see more content like this, then please hit the subscribe button and give me a like. It's really helpful and I shall see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you shortly. Bye.